thank you so much for taking some time out to speak to me today. My pleasure, not at all. Thank you for having me. I mean, I can't think of a cooler project to announce <laughs> that you're a part of. Like, is this is this not just like the actor's dream for you right now? Hundred percent. I was just I was just thinking back to when I found out about it, and I was sat. I was literally in my bed in Sterling and I, I was on the phone to my agent and I went wait what sorry excuse me <laughs> I went to my mum and dad and I went um I think I'm about to go and play an elf princess for a few months um can we just can am I crying or what's happening I was just so <laughs> overwhelmed and so excited it is completely and not only that but to be a part of the Witcher universe which is immense and and yeah. hopeless and brilliant and dark and twisted and so yeah I was really excited and I still am really excited about it yeah I don't blame you um were you a fan of the series or the games before or were you sort of learning as you went with it mm. what was that like well I w- had watched the tv series with my sister um when we were when I can't remember when it first came out um and so it was like I'd already I was familiar with the world I hadn't I hadn't played the games before and I still haven't yet because I haven't got a console that will that but I will I will I'm gonna get on because um why not and I think it would be great I know already the stories are amazing and and the books as well so yeah I am I was already a fan and sort of just love I I'm a big fan of any sort of anything to do with magic and escape and worlds that are different to our own and um, especially Mm -hmm. what I loved about The Witcher is the humour is very uh, us that's Mm -hmm. something that I I really love about it it's magic and and there's so many creatures and things that are so different to us but our the humour and the laugh is still there that is so true to us as people yeah so what was the casting process like? Was it one of them roles where you, you're going into things and you're like, I really hope I've got this? <laughs> yes. that, well, first of all, I had actually, I auditioned for a different role. Um, and back then everything was coded. So I didn't know, I still don't really know to this day exactly who that role um, was for. But I was um, sent that to casting. It was part of one of the clans. And then Declan, who's the showrunner, he 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 well actually they all sent me back to play to audition for a different role which was a princess and I was like oh interesting really different to who I just auditioned for and and I really liked the sides that they sent over the audition um I was like this is really this this is exciting oh gosh but then I as it happens with things you sort of you send it off I send auditions off that I care about or love this one in particular I was really I was like, oh, this would be a dream, but I try not to let myself yeah. do on stuff because then if you don't get it, it's quite a, it can be quite sore when you yeah. sort of have spent too much time thinking how amazing it. it would be. So I sort of went, okay, put it out of my mind and I'll just love to watch it when it comes out um, if it doesn't come my way. And then I got that call and I just was so shocked and excited. And, and then I started finding out more about Declan uh, um, zoomed me and showed me his sort of idea for Merwin and I was going I was just like I can't believe I'm getting to be a part of this world I was I was so excited yeah I mean I was reading an early description of her which is the flower that no one noticed had poison blooms beneath her thorns like come on that is epic Um, epic (laughs) what does that feel like to you know what's she been like to get your teeth into how has it felt sort of fleshing her out over this time Mm. well that I think is something that that sentence has really stayed with me throughout it's that whole thing of of people can put you into a box or put you into um, what they think you can achieve and what you can be. But if you're silenced or or ignored or not listened to, not looked to as anything more than something to be used, their stuff bubbles up. You, you, you're, when you're not listened to enough, it just, uh, something can build in you that can be really dangerous. And it's seen here, um, I really enjoyed finding the different parts of Merwin. I think um, I, I said that she's um, 
she's a princess born into this patriarchal monarchy um mm. and she lives in the shadow of her brother who is, has been from birth seen as the important the this the head of the this um this world that she lives in and she is something to be used as a pawn to be traded mm. off uh and her escape her world is she reads these books this history she has a thirst for knowledge and and a sponge-like mind and and dreams of a, a different world that she can shape and create and she has all this passion to help build this better world in her mind um but no one listens to her she's a little she's a trinket um to them and that just doesn't cut it for Merwin. She, no. she says, I can do it better than any of you can. You're just not listening to me. And I would work with you, but you're not giving me that chance. And so I think that sort of fueled me um, in sort of discovering Merwin's sort of hunger and, and drive. Well, it's interesting you say that about the patriarchal world, because the one thing I've always really liked about Witcher is it seems to run with these really complex female roles and yeah. put them front and centre. And it feels like Blood Origin has just taken that to the next level. Like, what is it like to be in part of a show that's really driving those amazing women's roles forward? It's it's everything that I, I could ever want to be a part of. It's what I... I love that every single role that there is within the Witcher world and within especially Blood Origin because I know those roles um so well mm. everyone is is deeply complex and written to with all their flaws and magic everything all crammed into one person I don't think there's anyone who's been overlooked and especially yeah. not these women who are decisive make huge world changing decisions um really back themselves and and fight for what they believe in and and it, i feel really proud to be to be playing one of these women for all her for all her faults <laughs> <laughs> i feel so excited to be playing someone who's who's got a voice yeah, for sure. I mean, your ensemble cast is oh, amazing. I mean, you're playing opposite Michelle Yeoh, who is the queen of stunts. Like, no. Did you able to like see her really tap into that behind the scenes or we sort of kept at a distance? Do you know, was- so, annoyingly, well, not annoyingly, rightly for the story, <laughs> but just annoyingly because I would have loved to have spent every second sort of, watching Michelle um we were in quite separate storylines um so we only came together at, in a few moments but I had heard um from oh yeah I can't, I, there's someone on set who who said that Michelle was just like behind them and just sort of she went with her leg just kicked her right up just just while she was probably holding a coffee or something yeah I'm just chilling Oh, come on I need to see that so yeah. what an exceptional actor creature woman sort of just I, I just was so uh excited and taken aback that I was I was in like a scene with her standing across from this person that is is like huge in this world and yeah. of course she's just exceptional yeah, I mean, you all are, so it was oh, yes. a past. But yeah, um, so am I right in thinking most of this you filmed in Iceland? So I never got to go to Iceland. You I didn't? was in Reading. I was in Reading. Reading? Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. I, when I heard that people were going to Iceland and I was going to Reading, I, I was a bit like, oh. But then Reading actually has a lot to say for itself. There's an Oracle yeah. shopping centre. Right. I really enjoyed going along the river and the people were really lovely. And so I thought, oh, yeah, well, one day, hopefully I'll get to Iceland, but I've enjoyed Reading. So we were in Arborfield Studios. Right. In Reading. And, um, but a lot of the like hair and makeup team 
they came from Iceland actually as well. Uh, Deb Watson, who's the head, she brought some people. So I still feel like I got the Iceland. It was literally just yeah. you that didn't get to know. <laughs> it was, that was all right. I think because it was like a, there was a small team of people who went out to Iceland. Um, it was because um, there was lots of COVID protocols in and making sure that we could still keep on filming. So um, yes, I didn't get to go, but... I would love to go because there's no mosquitoes in Iceland and I've got good friends who live there now and yeah. always wanted to go. But maybe I'll just go for a, a, a me experience rather yeah. than a filming one. Exactly. Maybe it'd be more fun. Um, so as we've discussed, you like The Witcher is huge. Everybody mm-hmm. loves it. When you're coming into a franchise that's got, you know, a huge fan base, yeah, does it ever feel like there's a bit of pressure or a sense of expectation? Or have you just been like rolling with the punches? Or <laughs> definitely I think for me there's there is a pressure for sure because I I know it's something that's loved and that people already have have a lot of care for um, the fans out there. You, I would love to extend their um, world or help, help sort of contribute to new characters that they could also love or, or despise, but, but enjoy. Um, mm-hmm. And so I, that's, I care about, and that there is a pressure there, but also um, I, ha- I have had so much fun on it while filming, I think. I, I did sort of go in with a sort of skipping my step every day, but for sure there's there's a pressure and everything that's been that we've witnessed in the Witcher series one and two so far and and yeah, there's and the whole Witcher universe that keeps expanding. Um mm. it's sort of I just I hope that Blood Origin um is something that those fans can be proud of and, and enjoy. Is there anywhere that you like as Mirren would yeah. like as Mirren I um, <laughs> would like to see you know if you could go anywhere in the Witcher universe where would you I feel like I see myself as I don't know a bit of an a bit of an elf just chilling back with them is there anything you think oh yeah I'd love to have a go at that oh man well I have to say I would love to do more elf I'd love yeah. to I absolutely love those ears I love wearing the ears. I love, I feel like as Mirren, I've got a real, I don't know. I've been told, people have looked at me and gone, you've got something elfy going on anyway, or something. I don't know, not necessarily the ears. They're, as you can see, they're very round. Um, but there, I, I think there's something, a connection with the earth. And I mean, it would be quite fun to be a monster. Yeah. That could be fun. I think so. But yeah, I think I've already done a man, a, a human. So I think maybe, yeah, an elf. Elf is probably something I I really, really enjoyed. So I'd love to go back to it. But I, I'd take a monster. I'd go monster for once. Yeah, I mean, go big or go home, right? Um, <laughs> so one last question for you. Obviously, we're all very excited to see this prequel. What are you the most excited for audiences to see with what this amazing prequel you've got? Well, I'm going to answer one part of that first is because there's so much that I haven't actually seen myself or I would say, right. other, some of the storylines that I'm not involved in. And so I, I am so excited to see what's happening um, alongside what we're doing. But I think what I'm excited for audiences to see is it's such a, a huge ensemble piece, as you say. It, there's, mm-hmm. I think for people all over the world and from all walks of life, there will be somebody within the cast that there's a, there's a, a kinship with or, or someone that you might enjoy or, or think you're ridiculous or uh, there'll be familiarity and um, someone in this huge cast to sort of, to find an alliance with or, or to, to back, I think. so. Hopefully, I think that's what I'm excited about to see all these these diverse, brilliant characters being smashed together in this yeah. world. That's what I'm excited for. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you so much. I'm so excited for people to see this, and I think they're just gonna love it. So thank you so much. Thank you, and I, that I appreciate that. I I hope they do. They will. 
trust me they will <laughs> thank you okay. um, yeah have a good day thank you you too thanks